Good afternoon, everyone. If you could please um, go ahead and give me a thumbs up in the chat box if you can hear me. I'm looking for a thumbs up from each participant to let me know that you can hear me. Okay, perfect. So from this point forward, we are not going to type in the chat box or write on the board unless you are given permission to do so. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get our lesson started. I apologize. I know we're running just a tad bit late. I uh, make sure you have a um, your math notebook and pencil in front of you so you can take notes if you need to. We're going to go over our lesson 3.05, which has to do with ordering numbers. And I think it's a relatively easy lesson. Um, but just to make sure everybody understands um, number line, if you could please give me a thumbs up if you have done the number line lesson already. One, just want to make sure that you have an understanding of the number line. So um, I had one on the board earlier when we were first getting started. I asked for Maya, and I believe someone else helped um, complete the number line. And it starts with a zero and everything to the right of the zero. These are all positive numbers. And then everything to the left of the zero. Are all negative numbers. Yeah, you guys are going to have to just deal with the cutting in and out because um, that seems to have been happening for some reason um, with all of the live lessons, not just mine. We were talking about it in a meeting the other day, so uh, I apologize. <clears throat> we'll do the best that we can. I need everyone to stop typing in the chat box, please. I don't want to have to turn it off, but I will. Okay, so the lesson that we're going to address today is ordering numbers, lesson 3.05. Um, today's lesson objectives will be that you can order rational numbers. Those are positive and negative numbers, meaning you can put them in order from least to greatest and greatest to least. Um, you will be able to interpret statements of inequalities by using a number line diagram. And you can write and interpret and explain statements of order in real world context. So if you take a look, um, I did put a little uh, rule fact thing up that came from your lesson. It's a good idea to write these down. These are good notes to have. Um, this is just a number line fact, something we went over a few moments ago where it says the numbers increase, for a number line, the numbers increase as you move to the right on, of the number line and the numbers decrease in amount as you move to the left of the number line. And that will be very helpful to you as we move through the lesson. And then I've given you an example of a number line and a set of numbers. And so what you should be able to do is plot those numbers on the number line so you can, um, you can put those on the number line and then determine the order, whether that be from least to greatest or greatest to least. Okay, so let's take a look at ordering numbers on the number line. Okay. 
So let's take a look at um, this example. This is very similar to what I just showed you. I gave you the rule for the, the number line facts. And then I took an example like this one here. So let's take a look at how on this particular number line, they have um, plotted the, the point or plotted the numbers on the number line. So let's look at um, negative 8.2, 0 0.4, negative 2.5, and positive 2.4. As you notice, they have put those here on a number line for you. And then the question says, um, number order the following numbers from least to greatest. For, so from the smallest or lowest number to the greatest number. And once you put them on the number line, that's much, much easier to determine. So as you can see, this um, kind of did a little bit of an estimate when you do an 8.2. You kind of have to get a, a good idea just in your mind of where 8.2 would go. The same for the fraction negative two and a half. 0.4, as you can see, it's not all the way to one and it's not even quite a half. It's a little below and then 2.4 the same. And then once you're um, once you've done that, then you're able to easily see the numbers from least to greatest. So it's the same situation or scenario when you go from greatest to least. If you will just take the numbers, put them on the number line in the appropriate area, then you can determine the least, I'm sorry, from greatest to least. You would then go and look at the number that's the farthest over to the right on the number line and work backwards to the left. This is definitely a relatively easy lesson. Okay, so we're gonna do an example. And um, let's see, could I get, uh, Maya, could you draw me a number line, please? Put it down, I'm gonna draw a line right in the middle of the board. And um, Maya, if you could put the number line up here at the top, and I'm gonna write some numbers down at the bottom, okay? Okay, Melissa, I'll let you go on the next one, all right? Um, oh, I forgot, Maya, hold on one second and I will give you permissions to write. Maya, I just want you to draw a number line that has from negative 10 to positive 10 as soon as I give you permission to write, okay? I just have to turn them on. Okay, you should be able to do it now. Um, so I just want you to make me a number line at the top, and I'm going to put some numbers at the bottom. All right, I want everyone to also be making a number line on your own paper, or maybe you have some, you need to make sure that you have a zero in the middle, and then I want you to go 10 to the right, and um, then 10 to the left. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a few minutes and um, you're going to go on to your own number line like we have done here. We've made a number line. So you're going to make a number line, make zero, and then you know you're going to have um, one, two, three, and I want you to go all the way to 10. I have negative one, negative two, negative and I want you to go all the way to 10 on your number line. It's 
So at this time, everyone should be making their own number line on their own paper. Once you have made your number line, then I want you to take a look at the numbers that are across the bottom, and I want you to make dots on the number line for where you think those belong. So for example, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna change my color here, I'm gonna put it in red, and I'm gonna say that right about here, would be negative four negative point four sorry it's this one we'll go here i want you to mark where you think they should go on your number line on your paper And I'm going to come back in just a moment with some more instructions. I'm coming right back, guys. Just give me one second. Make sure that you have your, um, your number line ready. Um, I'm not sure who's drawing on the um, whiteboard, but you should not be. The only person that was given permission to draw on the whiteboard was Maya. I'm not sure who's doing the house, um, but I will ask you to leave the session as soon as I figure it out. No, just whoever I find that is drawing on that white on the whiteboard will have to leave because that's inappropriate behavior in my classroom. Okay, hopefully everyone has the numbers written down in front of them. And I'm gonna get going to um, now turn, let's not chat anymore either. No more chatting on the chat box.
let's plot these on our tab on our um yeah. oh. okay oh my goodness that did not turn out is that very big for you guys can you see that easily melissa can you answer for me no okay i was afraid of that all right we'll just have to draw another one it's it's okay i got it i got it it's very tiny we won't use that Oh, the other one was better? Okay, well, look, we're going to do this one. So um, just give me a second, and I'm going to draw one on here for us, okay? All right. All right, so the numbers I asked for you to put onto the number line, um, the first one was negative 0 0.4. So if I could have, please, Juan, could you put on the board, right on the board, where negative 0 0.4 would go? I had that there before, so show me where it belongs. And then... Um, Okay, that's perfect. Goes about right there. Okay, got it. All right, Grace, can you do number, um, go ahead and put number negative 3.2 Melissa Blaine, can you please do number four? I would like for Laura to please do one half. And Ariel, if you could please do negative six. Thank you, Juan, I see the blue dot. Okay, I'm waiting for a one half. Um, Okay, so um, I believe I asked you to order the numbers from least to greatest, and so we would have a negative six as our least, negative 3.2 next, negative 0.4 next, then we would have one half, and then four. Okay. And so that's how we would determine if we were asked to do least to greatest or greatest to least. The best thing for us to do is to first put it on a number line and then we're, we can easily tell where the numbers belong. I'm going to remind you one more time that when you type in the chat box, I want you to imagine 
that you are sitting in a classroom with a teacher. And while the teacher is talking, you are sitting in your desk. And when you type in the chat box, that's just like you shouting something out in the classroom. And I know each and every one of you, and I'm pretty sure that you would not do that in a classroom. So before I turn off the chat box completely, don't type anything else in the chat box. Okay, so the next part of the lesson that we're gonna talk about is comparisons, greater than and less than. This is something that I am sure you guys have done plenty of in other grade levels. Um, greater than and less than starts very, very early in elementary school. So uh, this part should be relatively easy for you. But let's take a look at, the, at some of the rules. If a number is greater than another number, you use the greater than symbol. And um, some people like to talk about this as in using it like it's an alligator mouth, but um, I always liked to think about it as, hold on one second, guys. I always like to, to think about it like the greater number was pointing and making fun of the smaller number. So um, that always helped me remember which way my greater than or less than symbol would go. So if you take a look at our little, my little um, diagram down here at the bottom, you can see that the greater number is here, 58, and 58 is kind of pointing over at the smaller number, 35, see greater than, and is making fun of it. Now let's look at the less than see the greater than see the greater number over here 73 it's back this way and pointing to the smaller number again so greater than and less than these are called inequalities when you use a greater than and less than sign we call it an inequality because it's not an equation they those numbers are not equal they are unequal so we call it an inequality because they are not equal numbers they're either greater than or less than So when we're discussing um, greater than or less than, it's again, a good idea if you're not sure, you can always plot those onto um, a number line and that will help you determine which is the greater number or the smaller number. So let's take a look at some examples. We have a greater than comparison. If we take a look, you guys probably just heard my dog bark. I might have to turn off my sound for just a moment. Um, if we take a look at Sammy and Terry, could we write an inequality about Sammy and Terry? So, for example, if we look here, Sammy is negative 6 and Terry is negative 4. If we look at this, negative four is greater than negative six. So how could we show or write that inequality? And I'll show you. How would we do negative four and negative six? We have to decide what symbol goes in between. Well, Negative six is a smaller number than negative four. So we would say negative four is greater than negative six. And I can prove it to you because we can have a number line. Put this as zero. This is negative one, negative two, negative three, four, five, negative six. Now remember, we said that these numbers do what as we go to the left? We had a rule for that. Remember the rule? What did the rule say? The rule said 
The numbers increase as you move to the right of the number line and the numbers decrease as you move to the left of the number line. I think I just did that backwards, didn't I? I did, I apologize guys. Got a slightly distracted when my dog began to bark. I was afraid she was gonna disrupt us. Let's go back to the whiteboard. So I had the I had negative four. I had negative four and negative six. And I've turned off the chat box and I've turned off the um, writing on the board just in case you guys are wondering. So write down negative four and negative six on your paper. And then I want you to draw a number line like I just did. You don't have to go, you can make one end of it be zero. Remember numbers decrease as they go in this direction. They increase as they go in this direction. So is negative four or negative six larger? Negative four is greater than or less than negative six. And now I'm gonna turn your chat box on so that you can answer. Okay, chat boxes, you may answer now. Which is greater, negative four, negative six? So that is correct. Negative four is greater than negative six. Okay, I think I actually did have that there for you, so. All right. So again, I think this part of the lesson is pretty easy to understand. Let's go back to that area and look at it. Okay. So those are greater than comparisons. We can also look at less than comparison. So all I would need to, to do is switch those numbers around. So let's take a look at example, at this example here. Remember when we said that you would be able to talk about or write when we were discussing objectives and we we're like, you would be able to write out an answer or discuss an answer in words? So let's take a look at practice number one here. It says, what does negative two and one third it is less than one and two thirds indicate about their positions on a number line? So you would need to be able to explain that information. So what does that inequality tell you about the positions of the numbers on a number line. Think about how you could say that in words. Here's an example. The comparison negative two and one third is less than one and two thirds means that negative one third is located on the left of one and two thirds on a horizontal number line. I can tell you that on the quiz for this lesson, you will have to be able to choose wording that explains the positioning of numbers on the number line, very similar to this one. Let's look at practice two. What does negative two is greater than negative five over two indicate about the position of negative two and negative five over two on a number line? Take a moment and write down your answer on your paper, and then I'm going to ask someone to share their answer in the chat box.
Okay, just going to give you a couple of more seconds. Okay, and then I would like for Ariel to please type your answer into the chat box. I was talking, I was waiting on Ariel to um, turn in to write on to the, oh, you don't know it. Okay, Ariel, thank you. So, um, Melissa, if you can, I don't know if Melissa can hear me. Um, all right, Let's see here. Grace, you like to enter your answer? All right, remember, in this particular case, we are supposed to be writing our answer to explain the positioning on the number line. Yes, yeah, so negative 2 is less than 5 over 2. What does that tell us? So we would say that on the number line, okay, that negative 2 is farther to the left, farther to the right than, than 5 over 2. How would we know 5 over 2? What do we do about that? 5 over 2. What am I supposed to do with 5 over 2? Go ahead, Juan. You can answer. 5 over 2. What does it do with that? That's right, okay? So I would have, and I believe it was negative five over two. Okay. So how we would answer this is, negative two is farther to the right of the number line. negative 5 over 2. Okay, that's how we would use that. That's the wording that we would use. That's how you would explain or be able to talk about the positioning of numbers on a number line. You're going to have to be able to explain the position of numbers on a number line. Where does the number fall? Does it come farther to the right of the other number, farther to the left of the other number? So, for example, if I gave you these two numbers, if I said um, one and one half, one and, well, let me re erase that. Do it down here. One Okay.
I'm not talking at the moment. I'm writing something on the board. Let's take a look at what I've put on the board. Negative 1.5 is less than 1.3. So I would need to explain what that would look like on a number line. So what I would say is negative 1.5 can be found farther to the left on a number line than 1.3 because the negative 1.5 is going to be over here in this area. Right about here. And 1.3 is going to be right about here. So how I would explain that to someone is I would say negative 1.5 is farther to the left because that's the left direction on a number line than 1.3. I could also say 1.3 is farther to the right on the number line than negative 1.5. That's how we describe it when we are orally or in writing in words explaining numbers on a number line. Okay, the next part of our lesson is going to be about ranges, which is what we've just gone over based on the graph, write an inequality that compares the numbers in the shaded range region with the number negative 5. So whenever we talk about ranges, we, a range means is not one specific amount. It's a series of amount or a, a gap of amount, so to speak. So let's look at the number line that's right here. If I look at this number, I have Hold on one second, guys. Juan, do you have, if you have a microphone, turn it on, please. You should see the speaker button at the bottom. Click on it. Okay, Juan, um, apparently you don't. You, keep, you have raised your hand again. So Juan, could you please type in the chat box and tell me why you are raising your hand? Okay, Juan, something that you are clicking keeps raising your hand like repeatedly over and over and over again. Do you know where that is right here in the in the middle okay you need to be careful and keep your mouse and keep whatever it is on that from touching it because it keeps clicking that you're raising your hand repeatedly over and over again it's for you to stop doing that okay Okay, we need to just figure out why because it, it keeps dinging. I, I'm not, okay, let's try it and see what happens now. Otherwise, I'll have to turn that in as an issue to tech support. But I, I'm just, it's just yours that's doing it, so I'm not sure why. Okay, let's go back to the screen and talk about ranges of numbers. If you look at this number line, 
you will see that it's highlighted with an open circle, then to the left in blue. That means that if we're going to look at an inequality, um, we always are gonna have an open circle because the open circle means not equal. So if we're gonna look at these examples of numbers here, any of these ranges that are here fit on what they has been shown on this number line. So let me draw one and give you an example. All right, so let's take a look on the whiteboard and I'm gonna draw a number line. make this my zero okay and I'm not going to do the other side because it's not really necessary to show what I'm talking about I'm going to put an open circle on the one and then I'm going to highlight everything to the left okay now I could write several different inequalities to explain this range. I could say that um, negative four is less than negative three. That fits here. I could say that negative two is greater than negative four. I could say that negative one is greater than negative four. All of these examples are ranges that fit for this particular number line. Because I said negative one is where I started and then I'm looking at everything to the left of negative one. So take a look at the example on the screen as soon as I share it back with you and you'll see what I mean. Do you see how negative five is greater than negative six? that fits into my range, as well as any of the rest of these. They all started with negative five and build into the range. Let's look at the second example. Here's one that uses positive numbers. It starts at 0 0.5 and says that 0 0.5 is less than one. 0 0.5 is less than 2.5. 0 0.5 is less than seven. All of those fit in our example. So let's take a look at another one. Have a number line. Okay. I'm going to do right here. I'm going to say one half. And I'm going to go to the left. Okay, so one half is greater than negative one. One half is greater than negative 1.4. I could keep going. Negative one is greater than, I'm sorry, one half is greater than anything on the left of the zero on the number line. And that would be my range. Okay, I'm gonna turn on the chat box and let me know if you have any questions about that particular part of the lesson. Any questions on that particular part of the lesson? You only have to type if you have a question. Okay, perfect.
Okay, she should be good now. Um, all right, so I have put a, um, I have put a slide, and on the slide you should see on this you should see a uh, statement, and it says, okay, same things happening with yours, Melissa. I'm not sure, clicking the hand too. Your, your hand just kept repeatedly, that happened again. Watch, for, watch your mouse or your hand. Something is on that little raise hand thing. Um, I know, it's just something, it was happening with um, Juan as well. I'm not sure what was going on with it. It just keeps randomly um, raising your hand, which is bizarre. Okay, so let's take a look at the at what I have written on the screen. It says balance in Dana's checking account was twelve dollars and eighty eight cents. The in Josh's checking account was negative fifteen dollars and thirty two cents. I'm here, I'm Melissa. Yours is, still, it, it's still like raising your hand. Is there anything near across on the bottom of your screen? Is your hand like on, on anything? No, crazy. The noise that you're hearing are the hand raising continually that that's what keeps happening it was happening with wands and now melissa's hand keeps raising and it's not them doing that doing it that's why it keeps cutting out every time somebody raises their hand it cuts my voice so i'm not sure why it's doing that it happened just happened again melissa i know it's really bizarre I know, honey. Okay, let's take a look at on the screen. Um, what you need to be able to do is write, interpret, and explain an inequality to show the relationship between these amounts. So the amounts that we have would be $12. We have $12. And this is the end of our lesson, by the way, when we finish this. $12. And we have 
negative fifteen dollars and thirty two cents right so you okay melissa so you need to be able to first write an inequality you can write it however you want you can say that dana's checking account is greater than josh's account or you can say josh's account is less than dana's account you can do it either way that you want to and then you need to be able to um, show what that looks like written as an inequality and then be able to explain it so here's what i what i mean the balance in dana's checking account was twelve dollars and 88 cents the balance in josh's account was 15 was negative fifteen dollars and 32 cents so i would say if it were me dana's checking account of twelve dollars and 88 cents is greater than the balance of josh's account of negative fifteen dollars and 32 cents here's how i would write it twelve dollars and 88 cents is greater than negative $15 and 32 cents. Okay. So that was, that's how I would write my inequality. How would I discuss that as far as a number line? How would I interpret it or what would I say? I would say that negative fifteen dollars and thirty two cents is farther to the left on the number line than twelve dollars and eighty eight cents you may type in the chat box if you have any questions about this statement how to answer this particular question Okay, inequality means anything that is, it's a good question because we talked about it before, but you, it's very important that you know the, um, the vocabulary. An inequality is two numbers that are not equal. We show them with a greater than or a less than sign to compare them. Anytime that we use greater than or less than to show um, a comparison between not two numbers, we call that an inequality. Remember, an equation is when we have an equal sign. Inequality is when we use greater than or less than. So this 4 is equal to 4. But 4 is greater than 3. This would be an inequality because they are not equal. Does that help, Grace? Right, it has everything to do with greater than and less than. Okay, so before we go, we're going to do a couple of practice questions in your notebook, um, and then we'll wrap up our session. We're really close to the end. I'm gonna share my screen with you, and this is actually directly from your lesson, so um, it should help you a lot to just go through these. It's part of your lesson already done from from educator. Okay, take a look at question one. And question one asks that you place the following numbers in order from greatest on the left to least on the right. So go from greatest to least or largest to smallest. I'll give you a couple minutes to do that and then we'll
Okay, I wasn't talking. I was um, giving you guys a little bit of time to work on question number one. You can go on to um, question number two if you're done with question number one. Uh, and I'll show you the answer to question one in just a couple of minutes. All right. All right, let's take a look at the answers to question number one. I have put the answer there for you. Check your work and see if it was correct. I'm going to go back to it. There you go. Check your answer for question number one. And go ahead and finish number two. Here's your answer to number two. Just to be clear, you don't always have to put these on a number line if you can get them right without doing the number line. All right, and go ahead and do question number three. There are five options there for question number three. Or five problems, not options, I apologize. So go ahead and finish those. That hand raising is happening again, but I don't know who this time. And now you can check your answer. Okay, take a look at our summary of what we covered today. We covered ordering numbers from greatest to least or least to greatest on a horizontal number line. So you should be able to do that. We talked about comparing numbers greater than or less than. 
we talked about comparing amounts such as temperature and money. Um, if you are comfortable with this, then after today's session, you can go ahead and do the assignment, the assessment for this one. If not, go ahead and go back through the lesson. There are some great videos and some additional practice for you to go through that will help you understand this a little bit better. On Wednesday, we'll be talking about absolute value. Um, if you have a chance to go through that lesson ahead of time, that would be very helpful for you. Um, if not, Ms. Osman will be going over that lesson on Wednesday. If there's anyone that has any other questions before we go, feel free to type those in the chat box. Okay, great. Bye. Bye, everyone.